everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am finally back filming. It feels so good to film again, although it feels kind of awkward. <laughs> like sitting in front of a camera. It's been quite some time since I've filmed and I just want to say thank you for all of you who stayed subscribed to me and who did subscribe to my channel while I wasn't posting any videos for the last few months. My goal was I wanted to start like in January as my New Year's resolution, but I still needed to take a few days. So anyways, I am excited to be filming again, as I said, and once again, thank you so much for staying subscribed, and if you're not, then please do. So in this video, I basically want to do kind of a wrap-up, I guess, of 2021 along with a March TBR, and also I have my first unboxing of 2021, which I'm so excited about. I already know what this book is and I am really, really, really excited for it. It's crazy that it came in a massive box. You would think that I ordered, you know, a huge amount, but no, there's just one book in here. It is my most anticipated book of 2021 and I'm so glad that I, we were able to get it at the very beginning. I'm, I won't say too much because I'm excited to unbox it, but also I want to do, like I said, a quick kind of a wrap up of 2021 as well. But first, let's open this puppy. I am so freaking excited, like I said. So, if you are not new to my channel, you probably know what book this is. And it took a while to get here because Texas got hit with a huge snowstorm and a lot of deliveries got, of course, um, took a little while for deliveries to get sent out and everything, but I'm so glad that I finally got my package and I can um, start reading it. So, oh my, oh my gosh, this book is huge. <gasps> so it is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. I am so freaking excited. So as you know, this is the fourth book, well, I don't think it's a spin-off series. Gosh, I should know this. I don't think it's a spin-off series. I think it is an actual, it is a continuation of the series. And because I was just so anxious to get this book um, and it was delayed a little bit, I may have gotten the ebook as well. And I did start reading it. So I am already on, I want to say like chapter three, I think. I need to look at my ebook and, and see where I'm at. But I'm I think, I believe I'm on like chapter three or chapter four. So I've already started it. It is actually our book club pick for March, um, our Shelf Indulgence book club. As you know, we changed our name from Muggle Studies to Shelf Indulgence. Um, and we did that recently, but I, I don't think I had filmed since we changed the name. So um, it's been a while since I filmed. But let's see what it looks like without the cover. Okay, just plain. Um, nothing nothing special, um, but you know, nothing bad. And then, yes, of course, always, always. I have a theory that a book is destined to be amazing if there is a map. I am going to have to um, reorganize my bookshelves because it has to go over here, obviously, next to the other ones. Um, I have a spot up here, but it won't fit. So I want to keep it together. So I'm going to have to reorganize my bookshelves, but that is actually something that I do want to film as well. I'm going to do kind of a bookshelf reorganize, organ, reorganize, reorganizing my bookshelves. I got rid of one of my bookshelves to put in the baby's room and so now I just have what, the books that were on that shelf are now on the floor and so I just need to reorganize or possibly get a new bookshelf. I haven't decided yet. But the remainder of this video is going to be kind of a quick wrap up of 2021 and also kind of a March TBR as well. So uh, in January, I didn't read anything. Kind of the same with February. I read Shipped by Angie Hawkman, which is our book club pick for February, which is actually happening tonight. 
but when I post this video, it will have already happened. So I will go ahead and leave a link down below. And I enjoyed it. I listened to the audiobook of it and I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Like I said, I enjoyed it. It was cute. It's a romance. So now kind of on to my March TBR. Obviously, A Court of Silver Flames is on my March TBR and I have some friends that are reading it. I'm obviously I'm buddy reading it with Hannah. She is a little bit further than I am and she's already telling me that it is so freaking good and I have other friends of mine that are reading it right now and they're just saying that it's so steamy and the reviews are fantastic. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. So that is on my list. And then also I've picked a few books to listen to. I want to kind of get back into audiobooks. I feel like that is kind of the easiest way to get back into reading and I am really excited to get back into reading now. So I have the X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon and this one was recommended to me by Hannah. She just listened to it. So that's the X Talk and she says it's really good. She gave it like a 4.5 out of 5 stars and she said that when she was done with it she wanted to just go back and re-listen to it. And then I've also have A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair which is a Persephone's and Hades retelling and that is a gorgeous cover. I don't know if you can see that. So that's kind of on my radar for March. I don't want to give myself too much of a large March TBR even though how big is this book? This book is huge. Let me see. Without without spoilers. 751 pages. So this in itself is probably going to take me a hot minute. Um, so we'll see if I get to the other books. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you again for staying subscribed and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it and I'm excited to film more content. I want to start reading vlogs again, but of course you have to read to do reading vlogs, but I feel like this is kind of the perfect time because I have to read A Court of Silver Flames. I 100% want to vlog my experience reading it because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of emotions, lots of emotions, and I want to capture that. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!